Thank you, Cahirlik, and thank you, Minister, for coming into the House to discuss this really important and indeed topical issue. I want to begin by highlighting the amendment uh, brought by my Sinn Féin colleagues in the Dáil last night. Uh, in this, our key priorities as a party relating to waste charges are laid out. We are opposed to the pay-by-weight charges. We do not want an independent regulator. In the Dáil, Fianna Fáil introduced a motion that would not block the new charges, but would regulate them. It's a classic case of Fianna Fáil not providing real opposition to the government. Sinn Féin is able to advance clear policy on this issue, and we did not have to ask the permission from others or to look over our shoulder. The issue of privatisation, while dated, cannot be overlooked in this debate, and indeed in my own county. You know, it's, it's not a rewrite history, but I think there's a fundamental flaw here in terms of the privatisation of waste services. And in Mayo, when, you know, Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael joined together again in 2001 to privatise the waste services, there was absolutely nothing wrong with our local authorities uh, delivering uh, what is an absolute essential service for, uh, for households. Uh, and that's the way it should have been done. It could have been done efficiently and effectively under the local authorities, but again, it was one of the core functions that was dragged away from local authorities uh, to line the pockets of private providers. And I do think that that was a fundamental mistake, and I think it's a mistake that should be reversed. Uh, the government is selling this new regime while championing the idea that competition will ensure that prices are kept low and there's no sudden spikes. That's not going to happen. We have a whole lot of unlimited uh, companies here. Are we going to be dependent on them uh, to keep prices low and to create competition? You know, it hasn't happened in the insurance industry. It hasn't happened in many other industries. You know, leave everything to the market. The market will take care of everything. We have seen time and time again that it won't. And we shouldn't mess around with this essential services uh, under the pretext that leave everything to the markets and it'll be okay. However, there are currently counties where a pay-by-weight system operates, but there's only one waste operator. So again, how do you explain that in terms of the market and the competition provided therein that that will, will regulate it? In theory, the customers of this company are at the mercy of the CEO of this company as to whether the charges are raised or not. There have also been suggestions that an independent regulator will be established to regulate the industry. As I said, we've already had the department and the EPA to do this job already. There is no need for a separate uh, quango to do this job. Um, we only have to look at the debacle over the car insurance, as I said, and the insurance premiums to know that too many bodies supposedly regulating the industry. Nobody knows where the book stops. Um, and it should remain the responsibility, Minister, that there is an increased regulatory control as part of the state's overall waste reduction strategy in any case, without the setting up of an independent regulator. The latest government initiative is aimed at the wrong people. If they want to follow the principle of the polluter pays, the biggest polluters are those companies who at wholesale level churn out more plastic and cardboard packaging year on, year on. There has been nothing uh, from yourself, Minister, um, so far to either penalise these companies who flood the Irish market with excessive packaging or incentivise them not to use as much. In fact, the polluter pays principle in the EU waste directive says that the cost of waste management shall be borne by the original waste producer or by the current or previous waste holders. The director also explicitly allows the states to levy charges or fines on those who introduce uh, excessive waste into the market. And maybe you'll tell us, Minister, you know, have there been fines um, uh, introduced or have there been fines levied on companies uh, who were deemed to uh, introduce excess excessive waste into the market? Member states may decide that the costs of the waste management are to be borne partly or wholly by the producer of the product from which the waste came from and the distributors of such product may share these costs. Again, that's explicitly outlined in that directive. So the government's contention that these measures are needed because there's a waste crisis simply does not add up. We are in fact one of the top recycling societies in, in Europe. In fact, we're fourth place. Maybe again you could confirm that. 
We are on target uh, for our EU requirements on household waste recycling, currently at 45% with an objective of 50% to reach by 2020. It's clear from this that citizens uh, which you are now seeking to target are fulfilling their part in reducing, reusing and recycling. Along with not addressing waste reduction, you place the burden on the householder. We are asking you to put in place a waiver system for low-income workers and households. And the present proposal, um, you know, relevant to incontinence, um, of €75 Euro is totally inadequate. Uh, you need, I'm glad you mentioned St Vincent de Paul and your um, um, collaborations with them because they end up paying the bills of many householders who cannot afford to pay the excessive charges uh, from a lot of these private companies. You need to immediately withdraw the proposed changes on pricing, put in place a proper waiver scheme, have a feasibility study on bringing the service back under the local authority control and ensure local councils will have sufficient powers and funding to stop illegal dumping. Um, we cannot continue like this. Minister, you know even in rural Ireland there are so many people who cannot afford to pay. Naturally there are people who, who, who don't pay, but there are people who absolutely cannot afford to pay and at least if there was a waiver system somewhere in place that would encourage people, or allow it to just to be affordable for people to have their bins picked up. The reality is that many people cannot afford to have their bins picked up as they are and they certainly won't be able to afford them under this new system. Thank, Thank you, you Senator.